Hey guys, I just polished my nails yesterday and instead of removing my polish already and changing it up completely, I'm going to add something to the manicure already. So I applied MJ Lacquer's Thankful and Bless. This was a limited edition polish from PPU November this past year. I know the brand, they do still have some overpour available. It's sold as a mystery polish, but that's how I ended up getting mine because I didn't purchase it <laughs> during PPU and I messaged and asked if I could please receive this and thankfully they did. It's not guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure they'll work with you. So. I have that on my hands. I have it on both actually. So what I'm gonna do is use these stickers and do kind of like an ice cream effect. I have Leisha's Lacquer here, Chameleon Cove. It's a white base with very, very small colorful glitters. So I'm just gonna apply that. And usually with these, cause they are very long, I purchased this off of Amazon. I'll just cut it in half. I, I feel like my nail beds, they are pretty small. I always have to do this to so many things to fit it better. So all I do is just cut it in half and get more use out of it. I have my top coat here, sick feet, and then some tweezers and the stick. So usually what I do, let me go ahead and open this first. Um, I don't remember if this is sheer. I haven't used it in a while, but I mean, if it's sheer, that would be great. I would love to see through and see some of the original polish. I'm not gonna get that one, I'll tear it. <laughs> but here it goes. But um, we'll see. If it's pretty sure, I'm just gonna leave it as is and apply one coat only. But if it's pigmented, whatever. So you go ahead and just apply it. And when you apply this, you gotta make sure that the base is dry. I just dab it down and I don't necessarily need it to be straight. I'm okay with angles and all that. So let's see how, how this works. So I'm going to apply a pretty thin layer here and you have to remove the stickers when the polish is wet. I just want to make sure it's all the way on. Oh, okay, that's sure. You gotta make sure to get it all in there. Maybe I'll add just a little bit more. Just a little bit, not that much. <laughs> Cause I don't want it to be too white and pigmented. This one's lifting a little bit. Let me go ahead and remove that. So that is the first one. I have a napkin over here, so I'm just gonna apply the stickers on it. And let me remove this. And you can see here, there's a little gash from the sticker, so I'll just get a tiny bit on the brush and kind of dab it there. You could even get another brush, the individual brush and do that. But this just changes it up a little bit and there are very, let's see if it focuses. I don't know if you can see in the white, the very fine little glitter specks. So let's do that to the rest of them. All right. 
Yeah, sometimes I do that. Like if I get bored of the same manicure or I wanna change it up a bit, I'll just, the easiest thing is to apply a top coat to it if it's glossy, like um, apply a matte one or if it's matte, apply a glossy one and change it up easily. But I don't know, I've really been into these. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's not even sticking. I just use my hand. I've really been into the donut or ice cream food type of nail art. This isn't really, is this considered nail art? It's really easy. So you go ahead and just apply it. And I always make sure to like press it down. So it just doesn't get everywhere. But this is like one of the easiest like steps to add a little something to what you already have. I didn't remove that. And just clean that spot off real quick. And move these over. So that's it so far. It's, you could do this so quick. Usually I wait for the other hand to dry just to make sure I don't mess it up and move too quick. Oops, I just pressed my finger on the table. I'll just dab some more white. And then I'll go ahead and angle this one too. Let me just dab a little bit of the white on here because I, I touched the table. But it's, normally I would do this, just keep my finger flat and move it, and then just rotate the fingers and keep it flat. But because I have an awkward angle with my phone, I can't do that. And I tend to mess them up. That's enough. Oh, I don't think I mentioned, but MJ Lacquer, it's only two coats, two pretty thin coats. Let's go ahead and just remove that wonderful spot. So, I'm already almost done. Just two more fingers. And I just have two more. This one here is a different type of drip. <laughs> I like this design better. And I think this was only the, the only sheet that came with the set. It's a pretty big set and it's very affordable. That's what like I was looking on um, What's Up Nail and just different indie brands and well that actually make them they're pretty pricey like for one sheet it's like five bucks and i think i got a sheet of 20 or so and it was five five dollars um what am i doing i think i want it to go like this And I'm not worried about getting it like to the complete edge and the cuticle, like that's fine. I 
sure this is a little bit thicker. I'll just move that around a bit. I'll probably leave this on for another day or two and then remove it. So even though initially it was the same manicure, manicure, <laughs> I just changed it up a little bit. All right, last finger. See, it's been what? Like not even 10 minutes with me talking and it's just a quick little addition to what you already have. There it goes. <laughs> it keeps sticking to the tweezers. I know there's like sticker tools. I don't I don't know if they're made to not stick to it completely because these are just regular tweezers, eyebrow tweezers, but that works fine and I'm not gonna buy another set. I'm more of a use what I have type of person, kind of. Well, I guess it kind of depends on the situation and what it is. Like, even when it comes to cooking, I don't go to the grocery store all the time for different meals. I'll look to see what I have, and I'll create something with it, you know? Oh, uh, this one was a little too far down, so I'm just going to use the brush and apply it a little bit right here to kind of help that blend better, look more like a... A frosted tip, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that is it. My ring finger nail broke. I mean, my middle finger, not my ring finger. <laughs> it's kind of wonky. But I'll just do this often. I mean, not with the same type of drip. I have some other. Um, nail stickers that I purchased on Amazon and they have like Disney characters and some are holiday. I, I know my sister gave me some for my birthday. I'm going to apply the top coat and you want to wait till it's dry enough so you're not just dragging the wet paint and smearing it. And I applied a thin coat so it should be fine. But we will find out together if it's not. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> But I think this is a quick little addition to something you already have and you might be bored with. Especially if it's like a regular cream that you want to change up or just apply like a glitter topper or something to it a few days later. I've even like had one hand, well I had both hands like the same cream color. One was glossy, one was matte. And like... The next day I added a topper and then the day after that I changed it so the matte one I made glossy and like even applied another topper on top of it just to see how it looks too, you know, just experimenting with what I have. Okay, see, all done. 
Let me show you really quick. So this is it. It's pretty simple right here on the edge of my pointer. I could add a little bit more of the topper to help smooth it out. But that's a really simple, easy little trick to like spice it up a little bit. Even though like the pink itself with the flakies are really nice, just me personally and my attention and what I get bored with, like I already want to change it up. So I just add a little something to it and wear it longer instead of removing it completely. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.